Hello, Tracy here, and I'm just going to see what message Spirit has for us today. So, um, and this is just for whenever you happen to see it, click on it. And so, just going to see. And um, I'm, if I post this on TikTok and it's longer than 10 minutes, um, feel free to watch this on YouTube. But I'm just going to, and if me just allowing Spirit to pick the cards is boring you, feel free to fast forward. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. All right, it's getting close. It's getting close. I know it's been two minutes, but it's getting close. There it is. And it's a lot, but it's too many. It's too many, <clears throat> but it's getting close. Okay, I see one, two actually popped out. Hmm. So Archangel Shemuel and a broken heart again. But I think this is us really making a decision to do what we have to do to get over that broken heart. It's no longer sitting there feeling sorry for ourselves. Now we are in <clears throat> activation mode. Activation mode of what we need to do to get over whatever it's broken our heart. It doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship. It can just be anything. We also have the angel of love. Once again, we have yin yang. Because I think this came out, I think the broken heart and yin yang came out yesterday. But yesterday, yin yang was over here and broken heart was over there. And at the bottom, we have appreciation. So it's like, like I said, we're making a dedicated effort. We're putting real action, real thought behind what we have to do. We're calling on our ancestors. We're calling on our spirit guides. We're allowing spirit to guide us through this, whatever this was. And the entire time, we're having appreciation because we really don't know where this is taking us. But we know that we are on our way to love. And we know this because we're starting to recognize and realize that we're loving ourselves. That we're, we're finally loving ourselves. And, and we're seeing all the ways in which we didn't love ourselves before. And now we're picking up on that. And as we're going through our days, 
we're making different choices because now we are balanced within ourselves and we understand that it's not the outside it's truly the inside that balances us that makes us steady that makes us strong that makes us unmovable like I said, we have a deep appreciation because we don't know where spirit is guiding us. We just know that it's it's a much, much better place. We know that we have our spirit guides, our archangels, our ancestors. We have spirit here guiding us, protecting us, fighting for us fighting battles that we cannot even see with our physical eyes. But we can feel with our inner selves that that battle has taken place. We're allowed to rest, rejuvenate, relax, and understand that no matter what's going on, around us we are kept we are sacred we are whole we are healed no longer feeling bound but now feeling healed and free So let's go ahead and clarify Archangel Shamwell and that broken heart. And as I picked up the deck, everything came up except for this one. Ten of Coins. Could have to do with the family situation. Could have to do with us having to complete certain cycles so that we can get over certain things. Some of the things were what we caused and created. And some of us, some of it was not ours. It just seemed like it was a burden that we were carrying. But now, it's like we found the strength, that inner strength. And now we know we have that strength to continue to move on, to continue to move forward, continue to strive forward to what, where we need to go to do what we need to do for us. Remembering that we are number one. Others may be important, but if we're not taking care of ourselves, we're not taking care of nothing. But it's got to feel a, a good feeling to know that you, you've reached a pinnacle. You've reached a place I mean it seems like someone walked away and there was some misery there was some regret but at the same time it's like someone had to look at something someone had to pinpoint something and it was that person that pinpointed something was the person that I feel like had walked away and left someone in regret. And it wasn't just the person who was left that was in regret. It was the person that walked away that was also in regret. It's like someone had to show that they loved themselves by leaving. 
so that someone else could catch up and love themselves. It's almost like a lot of times people think, well, because I love this person, I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay and I'm going to take it. But really, it's because I love myself and this person is not to that point where they're loving themselves. It's time for me to go. So with the page of staffs, the star card, the star card, not a card, just a card. And the three of staffs. It's like you knew that you knew who you were. You knew what you had to offer. And so it was almost like you you had to look elsewhere. You had to turn your back. Because if not, nothing would have ever changed. So you turned your back. You had to give, you had to look at things differently and you had to give someone else an opportunity to look at things differently. And it was, it was almost like spirit put everybody in a timeout. So that everybody could look at, look at what you have and look at what you want. So let's clarify the angel of love. Sometimes it's almost like fear stops us. Fear makes us make the wrong decisions. It's too many cards. Fear makes us make the wrong decisions. It doesn't empower us. It, it weakens us. And for whatever reason, we feel like we're just afraid to... It's still too many cards. Spirit, just one or two or three at a time, please. Let's pop it up. But that angel of love, I feel like that's a self-love. I feel like that's the most important love. It's not just a self-love. It's a love of spirit. It's a love of God, Allah, whatever you, whatever you call your most high. It's understanding that what, what love is and what love isn't. It's like looking, looking at everything with new eyes, with loving eyes, with the lovers. With the Ten of Cups and with the Two of Cups. It's the most like a feeling that you feels different you're not worrying about anyone else you're not caring you care but you don't care not like that worry care not like that oh my gosh is this gonna happen is that gonna happen it's a different type of care now you care like okay that's what you want to do? I hope that you're happy. I hope that you have the best. It's that type of care. Because you know you're going to be okay. Because you know you have, you're going to have justice. Because you have that self-love. Because you're bringing that 
cup of love to yourself for a change. Not thinking that that cup of love is outside of you. Because what is outside of you is not what fulfills the inside of you. Sometimes we look at what's on the outside and we look at other people's lives and we think, oh my gosh, they got it so great. Oh my gosh, they got it so good. But really they don't. Really they don't. But even if they did have a good, <clears throat> even if they did have a good, that's gonna make a difference. As long as you love yourself, as long as you're happy with yourself, as long as you appreciate yourself, you appreciate everything that you have, that you've gone through, everything that you've learned, all your lessons and your blessings, you can be happier. So it doesn't make a difference what someone else has. It doesn't make a difference what someone else looks like, what they drive, where they work, how much money they got. The only thing that makes a difference is how you talk to yourself. How you communicate with yourself. The things that you think about yourself. And how you feel about yourself. And ultimately, how you remember yourself. Always positive. Always positive. Always a positive word. That's what we have to do for self. The angel of love. It's this love. However, we make hearts like this. I don't know how. This love. It's this love. This love. This love. This love. This love. This love. Everybody's like, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. All right, let's go ahead and clarify yin yang. Let's see what else. So we got appreciation. We have taking a time out, looking at things. And we have communicating. Communicating positive with ourselves, loving with ourselves, patient with ourselves. And doing the same for others. With the yin yang, we have judgment, the fool, the hierophant, and the ten of wands. So it's like we putting our burdens down, realizing and recognizing what's for us and what is not for us. And those things that are no longer for us, the burdens, the secrets, the lies, and these are other people's bullshit. Those things that are no longer for us, those things that don't bring us joy, those things that don't bring us happy, those things that bring us guilt, those things that weigh us down, those things that keep us up at night, those things that need to make us worry, those things that make us wonder, those things that make us second guess, even look at ourselves, all of that shit, it goes down. It goes down. You're giving it to spirit. Spirits looking like, give it to me. I want to take it. Look at this face. I want to take your burdens. I want to take it. Look, look, look at the top of the steps. Look at that. Free yourself. It's okay. Allow yourself to free fall. Because you're not going to actually fall down. You're actually going to float up. I'm hearing Muhammad Ali fly like a butterfly, float like a butterfly, wait, wait, something like, something float like a butterfly, fly like a bee, something, sting like a bee, something. I'm hearing Muhammad Ali with his thing. But it's like you're going to be floating up because you're going to feel that free. Look at how happy she looks and how relieved she looks like. Just take it from me. 
take all the burdens from me. That's how you're going to feel. It's going to be like a brand new start. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom. It's going to feel like a brand new start. I mean, that's all it's going to be. Let's go ahead and go to the stack. Look, the bottom. Love lives here. Happy home. Happy family. And that's because you're able to let go of what's not yours. It's not yours. You only have to worry about what is yours. You only have to worry about what belongs to you. You only have to worry about the things that you've created. That's it. That's it. You don't have to create. You don't have to worry about the other stuff. It's not yours. And if someone thinks it's yours, discuss it with them. Let them know, hey, it's no longer my burden to carry. You can either take this back or I can do whatever, but get it off of your chest, however you need to. You know? If you don't feel comfortable talking to that person, because sometimes people don't feel comfortable talking to other people, write them a letter, but send it. So that they know that's their circus and you're no longer their monkey. They got to do what they got to do for them because you're doing what you got to do for you. And if they don't like it, they got tough titties for that one. Tough titties. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Spirit has any messages, final messages for us to come out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It seems like yes. Like yesterday, I think it was something about um, mending a heart. And then today, it's like saying, you know what? I'm doing it. I, I got to do it. And then realizing that that love. But that's that self-love. That's that's how that starts. That's self-love. Because when you love yourself, it's so easy to love other people. You ain't got to do nothing different. Because you're already used to loving yourself. You don't have to put on no show. You ain't got to act nicer. You ain't got to be sweet. It's all You're already doing it for yourself. You're as nice and sweet and loving for yourself that you can be. We have excited happy, excited, let the sun shine in. That's that self-love. That's why you wake up. That's how your day goes. That's how it, the day ends. You know, for the, the other stuff, the stuff from the past, this keeps coming up. Just be done. Close the door and just be done with it. Be done with whatever in the past did not serve you. Be done with that. You know, the worst thing that you can live with, worse than a partner that don't work out, is regret. That's the worst thing. You know? Don't regret. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. You know? You keeping it moving and realizing that, hey, life doesn't stop here. I'm not going to allow life to stop here. I'm going to allow my life to keep moving, you know, recognize what's real, recognize what's real, your happiness, your peace is real, recognize that shit, you know, somebody else talking in your ear, talking all crazy, talking all that stupid shit, that ain't real. That ain't real. That's just bullshit. That's just stuff to keep you separated from what's real. Okay? It's like we we have to always use our brains. We always have to use our intuition. There's no one 
No one that is extinct. No one that that we can that we can put it put the guard down with. None. Because people, no matter what their title, no matter what their relationship to you, people are gonna be people. People are going to be people. And no matter what, no matter if they say the words, I love you, I love you, I love you, people are going to be people. When it comes to tangible things like money, put money into it. Watch how people turn into people. When it comes to them thinking that they can get something over on you, watch how people turn into people. So we always have to have our guards up to a certain extent and we always have to realize that no matter who it is people are going to be people sad but true and this says you got the daily tea that's the truth that's that daily tea. People are going to be people. All right. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else? No? I don't know. All right. So, thank you. This was Tracy. And if it resonated, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time.